Hi everyone and welcome back. Now we can see the demo of the application. We have just uh, these few pages, blogs, hire me about, contact and all. And now when we launch this application, we can see this is how it looked like. So this is the home page, right? And we can inspect it also, what all things we are getting from the network. Okay, so whenever I'm hitting a new page request, you can see about.js is making a call. Home.js is making a call and hire me then similarly the blog. So all the content is not getting loaded together. Whenever you are hitting a new page, it is requesting a server and getting the data back again. So the whole page is coming. Okay, you can see here the blog.js is coming. Here the hire me.js is coming. So this particular split bundle is coming from the request. We can also see these do npm run build. If we can get some output, I will just try to do, do this. How the build is happening. Okay, so now when you whenever you click on it, we are actually navigating to these different server side rendered routes. So we are using a uh, next router for this. We are we have just created a plain link in the layout component. Layout is having the header. And header has all these four links home about hire me and blog and we just created these dot js pages inside the pages folder so that whenever you do the lay click on to it that we can navigate to that those you can see now the build right what all chunks it has created this is important section which i was talking about now you can see the pages right these all these uh build or the pages it has created while building it also it knows okay there is a there are five pages forward slash 404 about home and all these pages it has created and it has created a optimized production build right so currently we are not doing anything about uh, fetching the data we are not using get initial props we are just writing a stateless uh, functional component we are not even extending the react dot component okay styles global dot styles we have something Global.css, right? So whatever the global CSS you wanted to put like body content, then you can put. So this app.js is something which is common and it's a, like a root component and you can put the global things here. You can set the, the phone family, phone size, some h1, h2, h3, h4. We have these sizing tags, right? You can put a default styling for all of, all of these. Okay, in the next video, what we will do is we will we'll extend this example will have about section blog section a particular page and whenever we are switching between between these pages we are going to have a, some kind of a progress bar so that we will come to know okay some data content is getting loaded okay uh, thanks everyone